Hey there, everybody. Welcome to the newest episode of The Bearded Gamer Show. Now, as always, I'm your host, The Bearded Gamer. Obviously, have a beard, plays games, duh. Chris Arnone. All right. Controller confessional time. So EA's been at it again. Pissing in my cereal bowl once again, making me really not like them. Recently, they came out and said that they are going to try very hard. They, they're dedicated to putting persistent online worlds in every title that they make. Really? I mean, yeah, it's kind of obvious if you've seen what they've been doing over recent years. Uh, oh, some, some examples. Dead Space 2, for instance. I love Dead Space, one of my favorite games. I really like scary movies. I like scary video games and, you know, a good shooter. And it's, it's just got all of that. And then they said, no, no, it's got to have multiplayer. And of course, a lot of this is probably so EA can sell their wretched online pass. The multiplayer was horrendous. Now, thankfully, this is because the team behind Dead Space 2, Visceral Games, had said they don't want to do multiplayer. They don't plan to do multiplayer. They feel like if you can't bring something new and brand new and crazy awesome original to the table, everybody's going to play it for two hours and go right back to Call of Duty. And they're right but they force it down their throats, which is why it was crappy, because really they got done with their game, they made their single player experience brilliant, and then eh, threw out some multiplayer, okay? It was crap. Mass Effect 3. Now, this is another game that you know, sort of later on has now been pushed in the third volume to have multiplayer. Now, the reception to this one has been a bit better. Uh, people are actually kind of, kind of liking it, but I think, once again, it's going to come back to this whole, well, it's not Call of Duty thing, so people are going to play it, and they're going to go back to their other multiplayer stuff. Uh, but, you know, th that at least was a little bit better. But it still felt like, you know, in like Mass Effect 2, you're still being forced to sort of buy these online passes, and they're, they're pushing this agenda further and further. <clears throat> Need for Speed, of course. Uh, now, multiplayer is nothing new in racing games. And the auto log, that new invention that Criterion worked on, really is great. But, of course, now they're pushing it down our throats in every single Need for Speed game. Now, here's where we hit the problem. It's, we're losing the other parts that we're supposed to have. There's no split-screen multiplayer. We haven't had that in any Need for Speed games in a while. Instead, it's all autolog and online stuff. Why? Well, because if there's split-screen, you have more than one person playing a single copy of a game. That's just not right, right? No, that sucks. And, you know, they're once again driving Need for Speed into the ground. And, of course, they brought this autolog stuff into SSX, a franchise that I really, really love, with this Rider Net, which it's, it's autolog. It's just a different name. There's no local multiplayer, no split screen. There's also no online multiplayer. You cannot get actively online with someone and race or do an event together. It's only through the Rider Net. And granted, it's great. It works really well. I got to say that about Autolog too. It actually is a really cool system, but it's not cool when it starts taking away the other things that we want. And uh, this is my big fear with EA. They start pushing and pushing and pushing their online. It's going to be to the detriment of the other things we like. Some of us really like our single player adventures. I have Mass Effect 3. I have yet to even touch the multiplayer. Probably eventually I'll get around to it. Maybe. I, it's hard to say, uh, but I enjoy the single player so much. I played the first and the second, now I'm on the third. And that is the focus for me. Same with Dead Space. I didn't care if it had multiplayer. I didn't want the multiplayer. I played it because I reviewed the game. But really, for me, it's all about the single player. Or, you know, we're losing our split screen. We're losing our active multiplayer. These are the other things we want. And you, it, these are the things that are being taken away so that EA can push their online pass and push their persistent online world. And we just got to find a balance. And there are games that do this. Now, the first one I'm going to point out, Halo Reach, okay? Halo, they just do it all right, okay? You can go through the campaign by yourself and have a, an awesome time. Or you can go that, through the, that exact same campaign with up to three of your friends. And there's competitive online. There's cooperative online. There's the crazy firefights. There's rocket fight. I have lost... Weekends to play in rocket fight with three friends. Jetpacks, rocket launchers, what else do you need to make a weekend, okay? Seriously. But you still have those options, and they're all equally brilliant, okay? Another good example of this is Twisted Metal, okay? There's actually a trophy. I love this. There's a trophy called Old School, the first time you play a split-screen anything. Co-op, campaign, 
or you know, an, an, a competitive multiplayer. So you can go through the campaign by yourself. You can go through it with a friend. You can four, screen, four split screen multiplayer, all kinds of crazy stuff. They put all that in there. They keep it all balanced out and all equally fun. They say, yes, it's okay for you and three of your friends to play with one copy of the game. We'll, we're okay with that. CEA, and they're still selling games. Shocking, right? Final example, of course, since, you know, we're all getting ready for it to come out, Diablo 3. Now, Diablo has always done this right, and oh my god, are they pushing the envelope with Diablo 3, okay? Once again, you'll be able to go through the campaign all by your lonesome, and everything's balanced, and it's wonderful. Or you can get some friends and go through it in co-op. Or they're going to add this whole new PvP element. Now, it won't be out right when the game comes out on the 15th, but <laughs> I've played some of that Team Deathmatch, and you know what? It's way more fun than playing Call of Duty Team Deathmatch, for me at least. Uh, so they've really figured that out. They've made it to where it can be as fun as you want to make it, and you play it the way you want to play it. And that's the final takeaway, EA. Remember, you're making video games. You're making something that people are supposed to enjoy. And when you start making these things less enjoyable, people will not buy your games as much. Now, unfortunately for all of us who are consumers, they have a stranglehold on particular franchises. They keep buying developers that make fantastic games that we really want to stay with, even though EA is starting to strangle the life out of them. And of course, they have stuff like Madden, which no one else can make NFL games, so they're going to keep selling those every single year. But hopefully they will remember they're making games, and they need to make these games as enjoyable as possible. That's what makes us want to go out and buy them, not by forcing online down our throats. All right, I'm off my soapbox. We'll see you next time.